Hello and welcome to a gameplay for all seasons. In today's Hogwarts Legacy video, I want to talk about five of the biggest questions that I have out there at the moment for this game. Obviously, we've not had much news for a while and I'm hoping when we do get some news, at least one, two, maybe even three of these five questions will get answered. If you are looking forward to Hogwarts Legacy and want to keep up with everything going on with it, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. So the first of the five questions then is, what will the locations of the games be? Now, right at the very beginning when they announced this game, we knew that we can go to Hogsmeade, we can go to Hogwarts, we can go around Hogwarts, i.e. the Forbidden Forest. But other than that, since then, we've not really been told or we haven't been told anything at all. We don't know what other locations will be in it. For example, if you look at the trailer, you can see there's clearly a scene in Azkaban. However, your character's not there. So whether or not you can actually go there or that cutscene is unclear. Lots of people are talking about, oh, they want to start a game in Diagon Alley, which personally I feel is unlikely. I think if you are going to go and pick wands and books and pets and all those things, it's going to be in Hogsmeade because all of those shops should be there and it is obviously around Hogwarts. However, I imagine there probably are other areas you can go to. So it really would be interesting to know, is it just going to be those three or are there going to be other ones there? Hopefully we find that out soon. The second question that I want to know the answer to then is what years of school are you actually going to be able to play? So you know this game starts in the fifth year and is it going to be you just play the fifth year and by the time you get into the end of it, that's the end of your story? Or is it going to be the case that you can actually do the fifth year, the sixth year and the seventh year as well and then the story ends then? I think for me that makes quite a different game if you've just got a year which is kind of capped or if you've got the three years. So the third question then that I want to know an answer to for this game is what's going to happen during the holidays. Now you can't escape the fact that for this game there are going to be holidays. It follows a school year, you have Christmas, you have Easter, you have a summer holiday as well and what's going to happen during those times to the question I just asked around when will it end, maybe it ends before the summer holiday but you've still got your Easter, you've still got your Christmas break. So what's going to happen during that time? Normally most of the Hogwarts students go back home which would mean going on the Hogwarts Express and is it going to be the case that it's just oh it's the end of term and press this button and it's the start of term again it could be something like that they could just completely ignore the fact and just go over it but just have this seasonal thing which we know there are going to be seasons in this game and just avoid the fact you're going home but I think it would be an interesting if you do have the ability to have the holidays whether that's you for whatever reason have to stay at Hogwarts because you don't have anywhere to go which could be the case that would be interesting or if you do actually get sent somewhere else or you even have a cut seed on the Hogwarts Express which we know is running at that time so the fourth question I want to know the answer to is when is this game actually coming out there's a lot of conjecture out there at the moment that it's 2022 and even that I'm not 100% sure that it's not going to get pushed back to 2023 so I would quite like to see a date be that early 2022 which is hugely unlikely in my own personal opinion is it mid 22 and I think most likely it's going to be towards the end of 22, so probably November time. That's my own personal, and I know other people share that view as well. That's probably when it's going to come out. But it would be nice to have that confirmed so we actually have a date we can aim for. Now, and I'm personally expecting if we get a trailer or something new, it will probably end with the new date on there. So I do expect when we do get our next piece of information or real piece of information that we find that out. The fifth question then is how long will this game be now i find it really interesting i did a little bit of research into how long different games are and i find it really interesting how much of a shorter period people play games for than i do which i think is just the way i play them so if, if i look up something like spider-man you can complete the whole game in a short period of time like 25 30 hours something like that and again if you go to assassin's creed it says you can complete the game in 40 hours and for me when i play those games and all the other games that I, i've seen on there as well I take so much longer than that. And I think it's just the way I play it. So for example, in Spider-Man, I probably spent 18 hours just webbing from one building to another because it was quite fun. And if I play a game like Red Dead Redemption, I see something interesting in the distance and I'll just head for it and then I'll see something else and I'll head for that. And I probably spent 10 hours just roaming around the countryside. So for me, it's always gonna be longer than they say. However, it would be interesting to know how much content is going to be in this game. Is this going to be a game of similar length to something like Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which was around apparently 40 hours, though again, I played way more than that. Um, that's for the main storyline. If you want to complete all the other bits, maybe get up towards 100 hours or something like that. So it'd be interesting to know, you know, are they going for pure replayability? They know people are going to want to do more things, so don't put so much of a long game in because people are going to want to be in Slytherin, they're going to be wanting Ravenclaw, they're going to want to be good, bad, in the middle, whatever the option is you're allowed for. It's a game to me, because of the nature of the fact you've got those houses, people are going to play more than once. So maybe that it will be a shorter game 
but they give you good variety if you're in different houses. Then again, maybe it's going to be a really, really long game. And if you want to do that, you can just focus on the main storylines in the different views. So I think it'll be interesting. Again, that's going to create quite a different experience depending on how long it is. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you on the next video.